The Summit, a series of contests where the best drivers come together to compete for glory. First, look out for qualifiers, limited time contests held across the country. Enter the qualifier to compete in a diverse range of events. Earn enough medals and you'll get a spot at the monthly summit. The showcase contest that takes place each month at Bonneville Salt Flats. Succeed here and you'll reap some exotic rewards. I see, so it looks like uh, some of the other summits have gone past as well now, and uh, we'll probably take a look where we go. Now, I'm guessing that they're trying to go for the vibe of this literally being once a month worth of up to do the forced crew event and circuit time attack drift so let's take a look at the time attack so that's perfect spec okay so we got the bikes a lot of people changed finished it well, the first place is uh, 1 minute 22 so this looks like it's a full global setup here. So I'm guessing they're trying to really add that looked very wonky. What's going on? Um, so it looks like they're trying to make this like a, a global leaderboard system. Sorry if I'm starting to go a bit quiet here guys, I'm trying to concentrate, the road feels a bit slick. And I am actually trying to set a half decent competitive time here too. So really, yeah, you've got to really try and hang on to the bike here too. It doesn't feel like you're really going to suffer from any real drop. Where the bike's going to slide out underneath you. Okay. People being able to finish this in uh, 1 minute 22, that is extremely interesting. Considering we just ran a 145, I guess it is the first time, but uh, 22 seconds difference. That does not sound right to me at all. Okay, so we've got a bunch of experience there, nearly level 41, so I'm guessing that people that were hitting maybe 122s have uh, probably spent their time getting up to level 50-ish in the last couple of days, and probably got a bunch more experience there. Alright, let's uh, take a look at Drift.
so. Still had a little bit of practice in the Viper here with Drift. Um, not too bad, as long as you can really switch it up. Now the track's not really the finely marked. Okay, you can keep it going. It does remove your score if you crash. But the track's not defined on the map there, so... It looks as though all they've done here is uh, left it to rain on one of the test tracks. This actually looks like the Detroit car test track. Yeah, there's something that still doesn't quite sit right in comparison to really drifting the cars as a full stock. It, I don't know. It feels more satisfying drifting the full stock. Um, losing traction in the drift spec, um, it's... Uh, all I'm doing is just feathering the accelerator here and leaving it jammed in third gear and uh, was just trying my best there to move it left and right. Fair amount of experience there. I guess it is beta, so they're trying to push people up. So, okay. We'll take a look at some of the other events. Let's go for the Monster Arena. Looks like people who have some. Uh, Pretty massive scores there. Alright, well, I did say that the uh, vehicle was loaned for this event, so I won't be getting any parts. But it's cool that it still lets you participate even though you don't own the vehicle. Playground actually looks a lot better um, than when we went through our first attempt. Now let's see if this fake ceiling is still here. It kind of was then. That was. Uh, weird. So there's the half pipe, but is there anything else that uh, we can do this time around that's a bit different? Ah, oh, there's uh, 5,000 up the top there, and we just missed the chance. So it looks like there's uh, big amounts of balancing that can go on here. That would have been interesting to get up there. Camera's bugging out like crazy. Not quite enough speed. Ah, uh, reverse you bastard. Ah. Built Ford tough. Alright. Let's try our best here and uh, I guess we'll just go for a couple of little hundreds over here and see what else we got in this playground. That works out well. So 
So that's a lot of speed required there. Quite a good little playground actually, the way that I've set this up. If you can get the speed up and, uh, and hold it. try our luck trying to do a, a loop here but it runs over now anyway so that actually was quite a bit of fun I can really see the draw card that they're trying to go for here back with more of the summit so we've done the uh, time attack drift and uh, also the monster arena so let's see what they've got for the time attack here so we're going to be given another car looks like uh, we can actually select what we're after I think I might actually go for the SS So if you've got multiple different specs, it looks as though you can select what it is that you're after if you're not in that particular car. So let's see what they've done here with this dirt event. It's probably similar to any other dirt event. Ah, uh, okay. So this is just your average every day checkpoint dirt event. I've driven this road before. Probably in the Challenger. Just going for a cruise. It looks like this is uh, along the Grand Canyon area. Dirt hasn't changed a lot since uh, the regular game. But uh, Oh, copped ourselves a coyote. That's alright, it'll buff out. Yep, out of the way. And, oh, that still gave us to us anyway. Fair enough. And, oh, that was a little misguided. Come on, you can do it. Let's get back up here on track. There we go. So it's a interesting body choice that they added in the, uh, the speed fins to the car. It's more what you would uh, use more for downforce and stability on prototype vehicles for a, a high speed course, but uh, I guess that's the aesthetic they were kind of going for here. Being a real drive, it makes a bit of sense, but oh, a bit of frame loss. They still really need to optimize this new graphics engine um, that they're hyping. But so far, um, I haven't really seen what they have changed graphically. It's probably very subtle but uh, I'm really just not seeing it. it. To me, this looks just like the uh, the normal crew. Okay. Is that a Platinum? Looks like it might be, that's uh, pretty cool. So 
so I guess we'll just kind of continue on. Take a look at the drag trial. Now, people have done this in 13.7 seconds, so... I'm guessing a lot of this is really based on the parts that you have and your current car. Oh, that is terrible. Oh, and everything's gone horribly wrong. That's why you do not steer drag cars. Ah, oh, come on. I do not want to do donuts. I want to get back on the bloody track. Pretty sure that I'd already hit the finish, but having to steer this thing is literally insanity. I do not know what they were trying to go for here. Was there meant to be? Yeah. <laughs> Has a parachute. That's ridiculous. So, they really expect you to drag the whole strip in Vegas here and attempt to steer at the same time. really do expect you to try and steer this as well. That's kind of crazy. Now, into the palm trees, why not? And that literally was an almost full lock left um, trying to get there as well. This thing, of course, being a drag car, does not steer one bit. Not really sure what to think of the drag. Um, yeah, having to steer it at that level of speed and then like losing the traction is just crazy. see if okay now even just that little bit of a turn the whole car literally just wants to spin so it's not really a satisfying you really have to keep this pointed in a straight line and it's not as easy as what it looks at all it's kind of ridiculous so I don't know if this is because I've got it on the pro setting and uh, there's no traction control, but that's just, I don't know, not too much of a fan, I don't think. Really it's because you're attempting to turn a forced crew event and you need to play that in a crew 
So, let's have a look here. So there's also the challenges up the top, stunt, slalom, jump and escape. So, that looks to really be a lot of the stuff that's going on here at the summit. Looks like there is a hell of a party going on. <laughs> 